So, question number 23, uh, we are told the table below shows monthly income tax rate for a year, for a certain year. So, we have been given the table here. Uh, so, for the first, from 0 to 11,180, you are taxed at the rate of 10%. This means that uh, you calculate the ta tax here will be 10% of this amount. Then you move to the second bracket, which is 15%. Uh, so below here we have in that year, a monthly personal relief of 1,280 shillings was around. In a certain month of that year, Sira earned a basic salary of 52,000, uh, a house allowance of 7,800, and a computer allowance, com commuter allowance of 5,000 Kenyan shillings. So the first question, calculate Roman number one, Sira's taxable income. Uh, taxable income, income, we add the basic salary, which is uh, 52,000. You add to the house allowance of 7,800. You add to the commuter allowance of 1,000. And when you add up this, you get it is 64,800. So that is a taxable income. All the monies that he earned uh, in that particular month. Then we go to the second part, uh, Roman number two. Uh, Roman number two, it says the net tax, the net tax payable by Shira in that month. So here we need to make a bit of calculations. Uh, in part A, we have seen that the uh, taxable income of Shira is 64,800. So we need to calculate the tax. We move uh, the first bracket. The first bracket is uh, is 10%. Uh, so 10% uh, of, uh, so we say 11,180 multiplied by 10% is the same as 0 0.1. And this is give us 1,118. So that is the first bracket. Uh, then we will calculate uh, taxable income is 64,800. We subtract the amount in the first bracket, which is 11,180. We subtract taxable income and we will be left with uh, this is zero, this is two. Uh, then we have this is 6, uh, we have uh, this is uh, 3, and this is 5. So that is the amount remaining. Uh, if you subtract uh, this amount, uh, this, uh, this amount from this one, that is we subtract, uh, uh, we subtract uh, 21,714, we subtract 11,000, uh, 100 day. we get the difference is uh, 4 3 then we have 5 uh, we have 0 and the so the next uh, bracket we will calculate 10,534 and you multiply by 0 15% which is the same as uh, 0 0.15 and that will give us 1,500 and 80 using your calculator point one so this is the amount in the second bracket we are through with that uh, we subtract this amount from uh, our figure here so we will subtract 10 534 from the taxable income the balance and we will be left with the six uh, we have eight we have um, zero we have um, we have three and we have four. 
Now we move to the next bracket. Uh, that is uh, 10, 534 multiplied by 20%, which is 0 0.20, is equals to. Uh, when you multiply that, you get uh, 2,106.8. So we are through with uh, that. We subtract that amount from our taxable income, 534. Uh, when you subtract that, you'll be left with 32, 552, 552. Uh, we move to the the next bracket, so it is 10, 5, 34, you multiply by 25%, which is the same as uh, 0 0.25. This will give you 2,633.5. Uh, then uh, we subtract that amount, so we subtract 10, 5, 34 uh, from the amount. We will be left with uh, 22,180. Uh, we are told above that amount, we multiply it, uh, the rate was 30%. So we will say 22,080, uh, you multiply by 30, and that will give you uh, 6,600. Uh, and 5.5 5. so once we have done that we are going to total the tax amount and then we calculate the tax paid using your calculator you total this uh, you should get uh, 14,043.80 uh, so this is the total tax but then we are told that there was a, a relief of 1,280, uh, so we say less relief. So we subtract, um, we subtract 1,280 from the tax that we have obtained, uh, so we get uh, this is equals to of using your calculator uh, six seventy three and eight cents. So that is a tax that uh, Sira uh, was to pay that month. That is twelve thousand uh, six hundred and seven. We go to part B of the question. So when you subtract, you should get. Uh, uh, using your calculator, you should get uh, 12,763.80. So this is the tax that he was to pay, 12,763.80. So that's how you do that question. Let's go to part B of this. So part B of the question, we are told in July that year, Sira basic salary was raised by 4%. Determine Sira's net salary in July. Uh, remember, taxable income we found uh, to be equals to 64,800. Um, then it means uh, the basic salary was was 52,000. So if it was uh, uh, it was the, the, it was raised by 4%, then it means uh, it means that uh, this is to be also to be taxed. So we are multiplying 52,000 you multiply by uh, 1.04 that is the increase and you multiply by that will be in the range of that percent so we multiply by three percent and we get that he what he, what was added is 624 624 is a tax that is to be made 
uh, from the increase of the salary. So it means uh, that we had obtained uh, 12,763.8. So we add the new tax, which is uh, 624 and 0. When you add this, uh, using your calculator, you get it is 13, uh, 387. Uh, point eight zero. So a new tax. Uh, that Sira is to pay. Now, for us to get the salary, uh, the net salary, it means that uh, net salary will be uh, from the taxable income. Uh, this is uh, sixty four eight hundred. He was added that it was raised by uh, four percent of the basic salary, so it is fifty-two thousand multiplied by zero point zero four. That is the salary uh, increase, and then we minus the new tax, which is thirteen thousand uh, three hundred and eighty-seven point eight zero. So when you add that. Uh, then your total, the net salary should come to $53,492.20. So this is the amount, uh, so this is the net salary for that month. Uh, salary is uh, Kenya shillings uh, $53,492.20. And 20 cents. This is the amount that he got uh, maybe in his bank after all the deductions. So that's how you work out that. And uh, that brings us to the end of that question. Uh, so uh, it's not difficult. Uh, this is in Form 3, Income Tax, where we, we, we did uh, about uh, calculation of tax.